save all your cool season plants. Well, here's what to do and what not to do. And don't forget the sub. So yeah, if you look here, you'll see uh, that's the cabbage and broccoli. It did okay today, that one broccoli in the middle there, it, it looked weaker than that earlier. It's already starting to pop back. So the shade's coming back out. And then if you look here, you'll see the mustard. Um, the one on the right, you can see it's got some permanent damage, it looks like, but it's popping back too because of the shade. And then here, there you go, still in the sun. And you can see that Swiss chard and a cabbage when they got hurt today. It was hot, hot, got up to 90. Just, wow, okay. It's supposed to cool back off. So what to do? Wait until evening, throw the water back on there. It's the only shot you got, really. Um, I hope that when it cools off, the plant survive and make it. What you don't want to do is in the middle of a hot day, start slinging water everywhere. You're going to cook it. Keep the water off of it until the evening. Don't water it in the middle of the day, for God's sakes. Yep. So let's see what it did. All right, you got three choices. Well, first, ideally you want a soaker hose, but my setup, I don't use soaker hoses because I'd have to run a garden hose to the soaker hose and move it every time I wanted to mow my grass, so I don't use soaker hoses. So if you're like me, you can use a water hose or a watering pail with a spout or take the spout off. Uh, you don't want to use a water hose if the plants are still stressed. These plants, had already bounced back. It cooled off. Well, the sun went down and started cooling off with blowing. They came back pretty good. But since they wilted so much in the day as indication, at least right there, there wasn't enough moisture in the ground. Okay, so I hosed this area off. If they were stressed, uh, I would have used one of these two. Uh, if your soil is really loose and soft, you want to go with the spout. Because if you go with a uh, just a straight shot, that silver can, the tin can, um, you're going to displace your soil, so you don't want to do that. Okay, so again, if they're stressed out, use a water pail, not a hose. You don't want to be beating those leaves to death with any kind of water pressure, literally. Um, so that's what you do. So we can see these two are already back. So we'll see in the morning what happens to the rest. Well, all right, it's the next morning. Here they are. If you look closely there looking good um that's that uh swiss chard and cabbage head there's the broccoli and here's the mustard look to the right that plants i thought it was going to lose a leaf or two and uh, everything's good to go there and then here in the east garden you can see that cabbage and swiss chard are doing just fine Okay, happy gardening everybody, thanks for watching.